Welcome everyone. This is the general reading for the month of November. November has the energy of the star. This uh, really wonderful alignment of energy um, in the, the month of November. It is powerful. It is beautiful. And a whole lot of situation is coming out. So this month of November, it has to do with something to do with the energy of the lovers and the star. Um, so what I'm going to be doing, I will do, um, a lot of people always ask me what deck I'm, I'm using. So what I'm going to be doing is that I am going to be doing a review on this deck so that you guys can find out, um, which deck is it. Now, some sort of a healing with a marriage or um, people are going to be meeting their soulmates in this month. Okay, so soulmate situation, star seeds are going to be connecting. Um, solar galactican energy is also going to be connecting. So this is going to be re um, really good. So whoever that was having soulmate relationship uh, um, or um, twin flame relationship, I see a healing is going to be coming between you and this person. I see a lot of you in the month of November is going to be bringing some sort of a healing between you and a soulmate twin flame. Um, um, husband and wives know it's about soulmate and twin flame. So if you are married and uh, um, it is your soulmate that you're married to, it is a yes, some sort of a healing. If you have met your soulmate or twin place in the past and uh, there was um, some sort of a problem where you lose each other, I see um, the universe is going to be bringing back this person to you in the month of November. So ladies and gentlemen, see November as the month of healing. Whatever is happening and transpiring, November is going to be the month of healing. So whatever the issues, problems, situation that was happening and transpiring, healing is going to be coming in in the month of November. And 17 and 8 uh, um, is going to be a frequent number to use. Um, so 17, uh, 8 and 6. Okay. Then you have duality there. Then you have the art energy of number 44 and number 16. Some sort of a tower moment is going to be coming down. Anything that was deceptive is going to be coming out in this month. But let's first go and take a look and see each of weeks of this month. Um, this month of November has four weeks. Um, we begin um, with this energy in the first week. Um, the first week is a um earth week which is good the second week is a water week transition the third week is balance coming back and the fourth week we end the month of november on a very very positive note so if you were born um and this is uh, this could come up as uh, the 29th ophiosis you're going to be having a fabulous fabulous um, new year and a new birthday. You have the sun, you have the, the wheel of fortune, and you have the magician. And I want to say thanks to the major arcana that is coming in to bring forward this uh, message. And um, we're calling up on the angels of November to come in in order to exhilarate and bring forward um, the message for each and every zodiac sign and each and every star seed. Whoever is listening to this, you have a message that is coming in in November. So, um, so we have earth, water, hurt, and sun. So some sort of a successful event is going to be coming out for especially, but I'm going to give you and let you know what is going to be transpire. So we're dealing with a corporation institution and it has to do, um, with some sort of, uh, um, uh, energy of, uh, um, the, your wealth and, uh, financial abundancy and I see that some of you are going to be reconnecting with soulmate and you are going to be either creating a corporation institution 
or you're going to be creating some sort of a business that is going to be bringing you guys a whole lot of wealth. And you see this is coming up. I see a whole lot of you are going to be connected to business partners. So we're going to be seeing who are these people because this is a love. A corporation institution is showing a lot of love to a lot of you. And I see a whole lot of you are trying to find inner strength to deal with some sort of an issue and situation that is going to be transpiring in the first week. And it could be at work, but it could be with an organization, institution. So I see truths is coming out and some sort of a healing, some sort of a resolution is going to be coming in. Um, and um, whatever is transpiring, this situation needs to be healed. It's happening for the hurt sign people. So whoever these earth sign people for, I see some sort of a healing is going to be coming in for you guys. So then we see um, the fire sign people are having some sort of an issue um, dealing with some sort of a situation in a corporation institution in the first week. So um, fire sign people, you're going to be dealing with a whole lot of issue. But um, this is affecting most of the fire sign people. And I see the hurt sign people are standing their grounds against a situation in a corporation institution. Then when we look, a cycle is going to be over with a corporation institution. And I see a whole lot of you are going to be victorious and successful. So it's as if some sort of a situation, legal issue that was there, that was transpiring for Capricorns. I see you're going to be getting out of this or for earth sign people, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, I see you're going to be getting out of this. As you go in your personalized reading, you will find out um, who and what is going to be happening in the first week, because it has to do with the institute, the corporation. And I see this institute, the corporation is trying to heal some sort of a situation for earth sign um, people and some sort of a problem, soulmate, uh, um, 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 business, uh, um, contract proposal, that sort of a thing is uh, going to be ill. A cycle is going to be over and I see a whole lot of earth sign people is going to be walking away victorious and successful in the month of November because of some sort of uh, issues and situation that a corporation institution have created. So hurt sign people could be helping some of you to resolve some sort of an issue. So um, whoever was dealing with issues, uh, um, it could be a hospital or some sort of a um, false play that was created or other people or a corporation institution, I see you're going to be victoriously overcoming this situation. Then I see the energy of debt in the second week. It is the energy of transformation. So transformation is going to be coming up for a whole lot of ladies in the first week, a whole lot of transformation with your materialistic wealth is going to be coming up. And I see wonderful, positive alignment of energy. Um, the second week is the energy of water, as you see, and some sort of a new um, transformation. If some of you were having some sort of a problem, issue, situation with people in power, I see this is coming to an end in the second week because you stood your ground to some sort of an injustice and equality that people in power have created for a whole lot of you and a whole lot of you stand your ground in order for some sort of an issue to be resolved what people in power has created. And I'm seeing some sort of a, um, a situation um, where a lot of um, women and men, especially women, are going to be standing up against their boss or standing up against anyone who um, used their powers over them. And women are taking back their powers in the second week. Um, some sort of a transition. And I see a whole um, people could be winning lawsuits that was um, long drawn out lawsuit is going to be won. Um, and if uh, um, someone has done you injustice with a medicine, um, breaking your house, falsify, um, create issue, identity theft, I see in the second week, some sort of a transformation. And these people are going to be winning and winning big. So this is good. When we look at the 
third week, I see balance, balance, fire and water. I see that some of you are going to be out and out some fire that was going on. This is um, a hurt energy of balance. So I see that some of you, um, if you notice balance and justice and being victorious is here. So um, it's as if justice as a stand in a situation and bring in balance to a situation that has been going on. And I see you're going to be justified and winning. So if some of you have some sort of a lawsuit, some sort of a conflict, some sort of an imbalance that was created in your world, you're definitely going to be winning this and overcome the horrible deceptiveness. Because if you notice fire and water, then you have the scale of justice and it is in balance. And with the scroll, so some sort of information that they have received and, gu and guided and collected information and justice stands up now and said, we're balancing this. If you had some conflicts, injustice, some conflicting situation, they're also going to be balancing whatever that was going on. So I see a lot of you moving out of the third week with victory and success, or, and success coming out of some sort of an unjust situation that was played against a lot of you. Then we are moving, um, we're looking at uh, balancing a situation and bringing a cycle to some sort of a hardship that some of you were dealing with. A lot of you were dealing with some sort of a hardship that people had created and you are going to be definitely ending a cycle of this hardship that was transpiring and the horrible situation that was coming out and how people had intercept, deal with some sort of a situation in the wrong way. And I see um, that a lot of things, people are coming in and resolving this. So, so I see balance is going to be coming in and this is going to be good because some something that was stolen from the past is going to be returning. So um, some of you was not even aware how much was stolen from you in the past. You're going to be unexpectedly surprised uh, finding out how much uh, um, people had created. So this is like identity theft, people who have misused their powers, um, a whole lot of this sort of a thing, people who have stolen from you. This is going to be regained in the last week of uh, November. And if you notice, especially for Ophios, Sagittarius and Capricorns, this is going to be a really, really powerful because the sun is general, the wheel of fortune is general, and a magician is a general energy. It doesn't place content just like justice is a general energy, and it doesn't place content because this is the general reading. As we look at the fourth week, a lot of uh, um, success, if you had issues with your boss or a company or um, someone that have do, done you some real injustice, you have a victoriously successful win a lawsuit big over a former boss who have created a lot of lies, deception, and created issues for you and your family, your partner, created issues for um, a lot of situation that was transpiring. You have won big and long and square over this person and what they have done. And it's an ex boss for some of you who had a lawsuit against an ex boss. So then I see the energy of the sun. This is powerful. The last week of November is going to be one of the best week for each and every person on this planet. The last week of November. So be aware of this. That is when it's as if the universal angel picks up and is going to be creating um, balance for this planet and for everyone on this planet. So this is good. I love this, the organization and uh, um, the elephant and the magician, how they cornered. And if you look at the month of November, um, the elephant and the magician cornered all of what is transpiring. Then when we look at strength, whatever the situation is, you're going to be overcoming and taking back uh, your energy, taking back your power, regaining your balance. So it could affect in the whole world because of what is happening. A cycle is going to be over with some sort of an injustice that was created. 
and um, the Wheel of Fortune is going to be bringing back. And a lot of you, your mothers are going to be helping you by either praying or creating wonderful alignment of situations for you. So, um, so some of you are going to be receiving help from the spirit world. And this is going to be good. Let's look and see. So I see some sort of a cooperation institution and transition is going to be coming up for some of you. Um, and, um, whatever this situation that was, uh, um, working against you is going to be balanced now. The energy of the star. So if it was a divorce, if it was some sort of a contract, um, if there was some sort of a theft of your information, your identity, a resolution is going to be coming in in the month of November. So that is good. Transition with love um, is going to be coming in because the soulmate twin flames are going to be guided back to each other. And that is good. Now, when we look at temperance, a cycle is going to be over. And this, this, this cycle needs to be over um, because of some sort of a hardship that some of you were placed under. And the cycle is definitely going to be over. So whoever was working against you, these people are going to be blocked, stopped, and balance is going to be created in your world. Then we see the energy of the sun and the victory. Then we see the wheel of fortune and you are victoriously, triumphantly, coming out of a situation, things and situation that was transpired. And the energy of the magician is standing with a powerful situation. It's as if the universal angels is saying, here, humanity, you need to have this. You need to regain sovereignty over who you are. So these are just wonderful, powerful energies that is going to be coming up. There is no question about this. So, a lot of you um, women, um, some sort of a situation with your mom is going to be coming to an end. And I see whatever, if some of you, your mom had died and left you um, stuff and it was stolen, it is going to be returned to you because um, they are finding out uh, whatever has happened and transpired. So if um, people, your grandmother, your um, I died and left something and there was a long lasting um, legal issue over it. It is going, you're going to be regaining um, what was um, the, er er uh, the inheritance that was left for you. Strength is coming up, especially for fire sign people. Whatever is transpiring and whoever is having issues with fire sign people, you're going to be victoriously overcoming um, this situation because they're going to be finding out uh, what these fire sign people have done to um, the rest of you and you're going to be victoriously successfully coming o um, over this situation and seeing the truth as to what has been happening and transpiring. So this is um, absolutely powerful. It is a powerful alignment of energies that is transpiring. This month is all about healing um, relationship, healing um, situations with your mom is going to be a good year, a good month to heal situations with your mom, whatever that was happening and transpiring and healing between you and your soulmate twin flame and your mom is going to be occurring. Mother and father um, is going to be occurring for a lot of you. So empress and the emperor, the mother and the father. So a lot of marriages that was on the rock is going to be miraculously ill. A lot of relationship that was on the rock is going to be miraculously healed by the um, universal angels and soulmates and guides is going to be helping you guys out. Okay. So the first week is going to be affecting a whole lot of people. Um, but especially the hurt sign women um, and uh, the fire sign women. So first week is going to be affecting earth sign women and fire sign women. The second week is uh, again the earth sign people and the fire sign people. Um, that is coming up, but dead, the scorpions are going to be feeling the second week. But whatever the scorpion was uh, having issues with people in power or boss, it's going to be ending. Third week is the week of the Virgos, the Libran. Um, this is very good. 
um, whatever is transpiring, I see new movement and whatever illegal issues that is there is as if a cycle is over and with long lasting, outstanding, drought out legal issue. The energy of the sun is a really powerful alignment of energy where it is going to be bringing back an healing things that was happening on this planet. If you notice the wheel of forge, the sun, the wheel of fortune and the magician is here that is bringing back sovereignty for hurt and it's going to be good. And so the wheel of fortune and the sun is affecting everyone. The wheel of fortune is affecting everyone. And the magician, you see the magician affect all the signs, the earth signs, um, the water signs, the air signs, and the fire sign, which is here is a fire sign, um, the energy of them. Um, so be aware of this. It is going to be a really powerful month, but it's a month of healing. Real power, real healing is going to be transpiring. The shadow queen is here. And that means, uh, um, whether the shadow queen is, uh, is taken down and, uh, um, bringing back, uh, um, balance and stability. The shadow queen, um, it's acquiring knowledge, um, insecurity, manipulation. So whoever that was insecure and manipulation, what's, whatever insecurity and manipulation, ask the shadow queen to help you to remove these people, these situation that was happening and transpiring. The lady of the mirror is also here. Reflection, non-judgment. Um, it's coming up and this is prof um, powerful and this is what I've been teaching people let go of uh, non-judgment okay you can't judge people don't judge people um, each and every person is here Um, just stay out of people way if you realize that they are not uh, um, vibing on a good energy vibration Um, stay out of their ways is the best thing to do um, do not get in conflicts with people in this month. Um, if you have some sort of an issue that you're dealing with this shadow queen, um, call in the shadow queen to release you. And if you notice the shadow queen and the non-judgment is here because the sun, the wheel of fortune and the magician is here. And this is what helps each and every person. So if you want to manifest beginning in the beginning of this month in order to manifest so that you can draw in whatever you need. OK, because this um, month is going to be coming up uh, with a very, very powerful alignment of energy. Then we see duality and protection is going to be here for humanity and for everyone who, whether or not you're awakened or um, you are looking for um, um, stability in your life or you're looking for inner guidance, you will receive it. Whether or not you are open, ready, aware of what is happening and transpiring, just look for that inner guidance within because it is going to be coming in to en enable you to elevate on a higher frequency. So it's as if this month is about uh, looking for um, yourself and looking to reconnect with uh, um, who you are and, you know, your ancient, your DNA. Who are you? Why are you here? This is where you are at in this month, trying to recognize um, what is transpiring. Now, um, it is a very powerful um, week, uh, a month, sorry. Um, what is so beautiful is that the tower energy is not in the, heal, the reading, so it's about healing. But the shadow energy brings in and is going to be removing whatever has been um, affecting a whole lot of you. And all they're saying, do not judge. You don't need to judge. Look at yourself. Look at other people. Don't judge. Let it go. Protection and protecting your treasures is going to be um, a, one of the most important thing for a whole lot of you. It's about protecting the things that you have, um, whether your knowledge, whether your information, whether your business, it's about really, really protecting um, you of the powers with, uh, that has uh, 
um, been here and the things that was working against you, some sort of a huge alignment of protection is going to be coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Scorpion is going to be affected in the second week, um, the Capricorns in the second week and the Aries people in the second week. When we look at the third week, we have the Virgos, the Librans, um, and the Leos, or this is more, um, this energy is more of the Ophiosis. It's so strange. The last week, a lot of you are going to be affected by the last week in the last week of November. So be aware. So it's uh, in the last week is no specific pe person. It is about individual people that is going to be affected. Uh, some people will have success. So check out your monthly readers in order and come back to these general to see what is affecting each of these week with your individual monthly readings. Protect your possession and protect your treasures. Okay, people, um, or it seems to be stealing other people information. They don't know what it's called, CCC. So I see that is happening and transpiring. So be aware and stand your grounds. And it is going to be a blessed um, month. So if you are looking for soulmate twin flame, it is good to manifest them in this month. They will come in. If it's not in this month, you will see them coming in. For um, the Scorpions, Sagittarians, and Ophiosis um, who are here, it is good to do a monthly readings, um, uh, birthday readings, because birthday readings give you more information as to what to expect uh, um, in um. Uh, what to expect coming in and this is going to be good namaste until next time